What's up, everybody? This is the One Nation Podcast 864, man, and I'm excited today. I've been chopping it up with this young brother right here. This is Darren Jackson, ladies and gentlemen. And we go, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you something about Darren, man. Um, I was out enjoying my evening, and I heard Darren at Smoky Blues. Smoky Blues. Smoky Blues, man. I was enjoying a cigar, a little drink, and I was like, yo, who is this brother on the guitar? I was like, I gotta somehow get this guy on my podcast. Crazy story. I dropped my car in the tip jar with him along with a tip. But I said, oh, God, I realized I didn't put no number or nothing on the car. Like, how can I get in contact with him? And luckily, man, I found him on the book, reached out to him. He realized who I was. Darren, how you doing? Man, today, what's man? up, man? I appreciate man, you that's having good, me. Man. Yeah, yes, sir. No problem, man. Man, I, what I like to do on the podcast, you know, I'll let you introduce yourself. And we're just going to talk about a few things, man, and it, exactly where you really want to go with this musician thing, you know? Yeah, you so let good. the people know, man, a little bit about you. What's up, everybody? As you said before, I'm Darren of the Darren Jackson Encounter Guitars right here in Greenville, South Carolina, right here in the upstate. Okay. And I'm super grateful for being here. Um, and I'm excited, I'm excited. I'm excited to get this thing popping, man. Man, that's yes, good, sir. man, that's good. And like you say, man, he right here in the upstate. And we was talking um, off camera a little bit. The brother is from one of my places I used to visit a lot. <laughs> Washington DC, Washington, man. DC. Now, that's, that's home time. I, now I can only give the people a little bit about DC because <laughs> my aunt stayed there and I visited. But can you break down? And I tell people this all the time about DC. I heard Cat Williams say a funny joke one time. <laughs> he says the nastiest, prettiest, roughest place in the world. <laughs> Is that really true, bro? In a certain, mean, way. In, in, in certain ways, it, it, and people, most people that that live in, live there a lot longer yeah. than me. Okay, um, like it'll change on you real quick. I feel like I, I mean, feel. one turn, one turn, you yeah, you, you can know, be you somewhere you don't somewhere know you, you want to be. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So yeah, man. yeah, it's, it's 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 so much to do. It's it's such a mm-hmm. beautiful place. I wish I when I was younger that we mm-hmm. would have stayed a little longer. I understand um, that. But, understand you know, that. due to circumstances in life, how life happens, uh, we didn't stay there as long. But I do go, I visit you quite often. You still go back. Yeah, you I definitely go back. go back and visit. Yeah. Okay, man, well, let me let me ask you this. Like, you say you stayed in D.C. for a while. Mm-hmm. You know, how long was you actually there then you moved? So, um, so I, w- I was born there. Mm-hmm. I lived there until I was about nine years old. So okay. I was born there, I okay. uh, lived there about nine. Unfortunately, uh, my mother, Oh, my man. mother passed. Doses, bro. Um, respect, respect. Uh, my mother passed, and mm-hmm. we stayed there a few years longer. Okay. And then, okay. Um, you know, my aunt saw fit. My aunt raised us. Okay. Um, I understand. I come from a seven uh, family of seven. Whoa, so man. It was, it, was, it was seven of us in total. Okay. My mom had seven. Okay. So my aunt thought it was best interest for mm-hmm. um, for um, for us to move you know what i'm saying understand. so she moved us up here okay because um, they're originally from here like oh, my okay. aunt and my mom are originally from oh so south they're originally from south carolina right they're okay, originally cool, from south carolina cool, cool. so so yeah so okay. that's how that went down so man you say you got seven it's seven of y'all it's seven of us i mean I, I i'm gonna be honest with you i don't know what that's like because i'm one child oh you man know? so oh, yeah man. so do you kind of Break down, because the reason I answer this, I'm going to compare you right now to my father. My uh-huh. father was seven of them. Uh-huh. What was it like growing up with seven of y'all? Whew. Boys and girls? No, that's the crazy thing about it. It's all girls. Whoa. Oh, the, so the, the first even, five. The, the first, first five, five is all girls. Oh, man. All girls, the first five. <laughs> so, man, that's... I got mama one, mama two, two mama three, <laughs> mama four, mama five, and then, uh-huh. it, and then it's me. Mm-hmm. And then I have a brother okay. that's a that's a year younger than me. Oh, okay. and then I have another brother on my dad's side. Okay, so I okay. got another brother on okay. my dad's side. But in the household, it man. was it was a seven. It was man, my sisters it was like having <laughs> six mamas in the house. I understand, you know, including man. my mom. It was crazy. It was and crazy. You gotta they, understand, they man. still do that now. Yeah, they're looking out for you. Yeah, you know yeah, for sure, saying? for sure. My sisters gonna take care of you, man. <laughs> for sure. And I, I can I can see that. I got kids, man. I got three. Oh, yeah. One boy, two girls. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I see how they protect him. Oh, yeah. So, you got any kids? Yeah. I actually, I have four. You got four. beat by got, one, man. Man, you I got, got four. Beat. I have a... My son is the oldest. My son's okay. 15. Okay. Uh, and I have three girls. Okay. Um, 11, 6, and 3. Okay, okay. So, That's yeah. what's up. That's what's up. Now, I bet they pretty much love daddy on that guitar. Oh, yeah. Man. Oh, yeah. They, they, one of them, my little tech, mm-hmm. she tries yeah. to, she tried to fix my guitar. And <laughs> the other ones, they, you know, my coaches, you yeah. know, they try to, yeah. hey, you need to do this. Yeah. Hey, you need to try this. Yeah. So, yeah, they, 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 I'm and getting man, them influencing them, trying to. Anyway. That's good, man. Stick with that, man, because them kids, they're going to help us out in the long run. Absolutely. Bro. And Absolutely. when you can actually see that they taking notice of what daddy's doing, 
That's major, man. Absolutely. I just want to let you know. Now, let me ask you something, man. How did you get into the guitar and the musician field? What, what, man, what How did man. that go? Take me back. How did that start? Oh, man. So, I've been in... Man, I've been wanting to, I've been wanting to share this story. Okay, let's go. So, it's an exclusive. So, is this exclusive? It. This is, yes, this is, you heard of him one, first. The world's going to hear it. Um, right. So, I haven't always played guitar okay. my entire life. Okay. Uh, I started, I started like just anybody in middle mm -hmm. school, started in music yeah. in middle school. Yeah. Um, I actually played saxophone in middle school. Oh, okay. And then okay. I ended up switching over to, uh, drums when I got to high school mm. and I ended up got, I ended up being put in the wrong class. Oh man. So I actually wish I still would have played sax. Cause, yeah. I got man, you. that would have been crazy. <laughs> That's but, what you want. Yeah, I got you. But I didn't go back. I stayed with drums, okay. high school, a little bit of college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um. When I was 18, that's when I got into church. Okay, okay. Got in church, playing drums at church and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And um, and I started playing. Funny thing is, I started playing for, which is my godfather, my, okay. my quartet group. Okay. Um, they kind of took me in. You know, I was young. You know, everybody else, a little yeah. older. They kind of yeah. took me in. Yeah. And I always been around guitars. I just never really had an aspiration nope. okay, to, I got you. to I play got it. You, you know what I'm saying? You. Um, and then the funny, the funny thing <laughs> is, uh, when I was playing drums, I was like, mm -hmm. one day... I was like, you know, I want to be a full time musician. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. This, is, this is this is what I want to do. Live. We live, y'all do this, right? This is what I want to do. Okay. Now at the time, I was only making about 120 a week. <laughs> I had I had a one year old. Oh man! Oh man! And a car payment, rent, Ooh. you know, whole nine, right? Oh man! So I'm like, yeah, you know, so I'm about to go do it. You know what I'm saying? But quickly. Quickly in about switched up, two months, switched up real bad. Lost my car. Oh man! Oh, all man, that, bro. and 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 I was just like, okay, God, like I see the vision. Yeah. Like, okay. What I do wrong? You know right. what I'm saying? Type right. thing. So right. I went back to the drum board. Went mm -hmm. back to work. Um, and I tried different instruments. I was like, man, drums. I like drums. Mm -hmm. I'm a drummer at heart. Okay. Um, I gotta hear you do the drums too. But man. man, I'm probably super rusty. But oh, like, man, I, man. Love, <laughs> I love, I love, I love a good drummer. Like, okay. It just, it just does something to me. I understand. Um, but, um, but uh, basically, what mm -hmm. happened was, I sat down at the bass. I sat down at the the keyboard. Yeah. I said, I tried to even try to pick back up my sax. Oh man. And it just wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't clicking. Okay. So one okay. day, one day, I went to a pawn shop, bro. All right. I went to a pawn shop. Shout no out lie. to them pawn shops. Yeah. You find a lot I of went, gems in man, there. Man, yeah. <laughs> I went to a pawn shop, and I picked the guitar up, man. It was like instant connection, Word. bro. It was like, it yeah. was like an aha moment. It was like, you know, like the angels just, the light just shine down yeah, you. Yeah. And it's just like, yo. Man, so, that's so, so, you know what I'm saying? So that's, that's pretty much how that went down. Okay. So I went home. I, I So I mean. <laughs> I grabbed the amp. I practiced, and I ain't know what I was doing. You didn't know what you were Just doing. grabbing stuff. Yes, what's Went up? Went home, man? and they looking at me like, "What are you doing? Like, what you doing, bro? <laughs> like, what you doing?" I said, "I'm about to, you know, when I play guitar." <laughs> so, man, that night, bro, no lie, bro, I prayed mm -hmm. about it, and I said, "God," mm -hmm. I said, um, "I said, if you give me the talent yeah. and the gifting yeah. to play, I'll use it. I use it for the right reasons." Okay, okay. And the very next day. Mm -hmm. I um I was driving up Wade Hampton. Ne bro, gotcha. I never forget this. Never Exclusive, forget it. It, I, I was driving up Wade Hampton, and it was my very first teacher was Matthew Stokes. Okay, I'll never forget. Stokes. Shout, shout out, shout out Stokes. to Matthew. Matthew. Uh, it's Stokes Music Studio. It's right there in Greer. Okay, um, shout out, y'all. Dope, dope, um, dope music teacher. Dope guy. Okay, dope, golly guy. Mm -hmm. Um, and I seen the scripts. He has a he had a little thing outside that was Philippians four thirteen. Okay, and I was like, okay. yup, yeah, I'm in the right. Was. I was like, yup, You're I'm in the, the right, right spot. Yes, sir. You're so in the right place. I went in. Now keep in mind, I went in mm -hmm. and um, I went in and I'm left handed. Okay. So yeah, that's that's the funny thing. That's yeah. the funny. Thing. I'm left handed, and he was like, "Don't learn that way." Wow. And I was like. But, so, you, but you left handed. I left handed. Yeah. So I had to learn to write. I had to learn and he pushed me every day. He That's pushed good. me every day. Mm -hmm. And um and I just never forgot where I came from with him. And he really sat with me for year, for a couple of years. I, I sat under him for a couple of years. And really? I've had some awesome, yeah. awesome teachers yeah. throughout the process. And I've been taking lessons ever since. So mm -hmm. I've been playing guitar since I was 23 okay i'm 35 okay. now so about 12 years, 12 years now. i've been 12 years in it so that's, what's that's up, pretty man. much the story that's how i got started it was literally man. like a god given hey man god that, given talent it show you man how god worked you know yes, what sir. i mean like like you say you was going away hampton man and it just it hit you you yep. know what i'm saying that and that's something i tell a lot of people man 
you you got to be open minded. Absolutely. And you got to listen. You know, a lot of people. Okay, I say this. A lot of people say I can't hear, but you're not listening with the right tool. Exactly. You got to listen with your heart, and you got to just mm -hmm. understand because God gonna drop that gem. Oh yeah. And Absolutely. gonna put it in front of you. Absolutely. And when you see it, bro. Absolutely. That's what's up. Absolutely, man. man. And I, I'm a, um. Let, let me ask you this then. Y'all got the exclusive story. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. I'm glad he shared that with y'all. And I'm glad he shared that on this podcast. Y'all heard it first. <laughs> yes, sir. But what, I mean, like, when you're writing, because I'm not a musician, mm -hmm. what, I mean, zone do you have to be into? Like, when you say, I'm going to write this, like, if you're writing anything, mm -hmm. does is it something you do to get you to that point? Do you um, zone out or what? It's, it's, it's more of a... It's more of a place, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, like you know, I I don't write on a regular, mm -hmm. um, but I have I have composed some things that I, I that I worked on in the yeah. past. Um, like I got a I got a song out called Desert. Desert. Um, okay. On iTunes, uh, on check iTunes that out. and Spotify, and make sure y'all check that out. It's a okay. That I did a couple years ago called Desert. Okay. Um, but it's 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 really like um, and for myself and many many others, it's just mm -hmm. a it's just a it's a it's an unexplainable place uh, you. that you that you go to. Okay. And it's okay. just endless creation. It's just endless okay. it's almost like having a superpower. Man, you know what I'm saying? Right. And um and it, you could just turn it on and off. Like yeah. it just yeah. it's, yeah, natural. It, it, it's just natural. You I know what I'm saying? Like it's it's one of those places um that you have I mean, a lot of times I like mm -hmm. it to be quiet. I like okay, it to be that's what I was gonna get to like, like, like it to be quiet. quiet, like it to be like if I'm trying to figure out something. Mm -hmm. I like for it to be quiet okay, so I okay. can process okay. and, and get to that place. That's what's up, man, because I, I know a lot of people that it's different things they use. You Absolutely. Know, you know, and I, I met one person, they said they, they like, you know, and I guess it's each its own. Mm -hmm. You know, they like it being kind of crowded and stuff yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. And I was like, how could you focus like that? <laughs> I would rather be like you, yeah. like you say, in a quiet space, I gotta be, man. I got to be quiet, man. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay, man. Well, let me ask you this. I'm trying to come back and see you again somewhere, <laughs> you know. And I know tonight we just talked about shout out. Where you gonna be at tonight? Yeah, we gonna so, get back to this. So, shout so, that so out tonight. tonight, tonight in the Greenville Spartanburg <coughs> yes, area, wherever you're gonna, where, and even if you're in Charlotte, if you yeah. just want to make that drive. Yeah, people may drive. Um, um, I will be at Rainer's Cafe and Bar yes, downtown Greenville. Mm -hmm. Um, I believe that's like on Main. I can't, I can't uh, tell you exactly. Don't worry about it. We got you, mm -hmm. but. It'd be at Rainer's um, downtown Green. You can't miss it. Mm -hmm. uh, show starts at 8 p.m. So yours truly will be in the building tonight with the band. So okay. uh, we're going to do some R&B tunes and, mm -hmm. and make it feel real good. Good date night. Good chill night. Okay. It's, uh, it's supposed to be some nice weather. So y'all come out. Yeah, man. Y'all definitely check that out, man. I mean, definitely. Now, you say you're going to be with the band tonight. Mm -hmm. Now, if I remember, you got how many, how many is in your band including? So you? typically, typically is is four. Yeah. Um, depending on the situation, uh -huh. I may or may not have a singer. Depending okay. Depending on the situation. Now I want to um, shout her out too. The singer you had is uh Smokey Blue. I mean, oh, the, yeah, um, yeah, that man. The amazing Charnell Allen from Yo. Charlotte, North Carolina. They mean together. <laughs> <laughs> she is amazing. She's yes, amazing. Sir. She's yes, sir. amazing. She was with me that night at yeah, Blue man. Boulevard. That's the night they. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And y'all can check him out there. Are you going back there anytime soon? Um, maybe. Maybe sometime. It just okay. depends on rotation. Depends on rotation. You know? yeah. Okay. Now, man, let me let me go here for a minute. We okay. we talked about, you know, how you, you know, you got into the music thing. Now, I know you say your your teacher pushed you, mm -hmm. but was it anybody outside the teacher that hey say, hey Darren, look here. If this is what you're gonna do, you gotta keep going. You gotta um, keep going. I think I think life. Okay. I like <laughs> honestly, that answer. I really like the answer. Honestly, uh life, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I grew up um I ain't gonna say it was a bad, bad yeah, life, it, but it, 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 it is wasn't, what it is. It yeah. is what it it was yeah. what it was, yeah, man. Yeah. And just you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. like the things that I desired mm -hmm. um in, in life growing up. Okay. Um okay. and just to make some something of myself. Yes. Um and I, I've always I've always a lot of things I would start and stop, mm -hmm. start and stop, oh, okay. and never complete. And, and this you. is something that I grabbed a hold yeah. of and I was like, yo, like you're really good at it. Like exactly. keep pushing, keep exactly, driving it. Man. Exactly. And my kids, man, my kids. It's yeah. pretty much my keep kids. Man. My kids keep me motivated yeah. and just see um to see the excitement, mm -hmm. to see the um to see the the that it pushes them to want to do gotcha. things and aspirations and, and be like, hey, you yeah. know, anything 
you work hard to do mm -hmm. it, you know what I'm saying, it, it can work out for you. And that's so, what I was going to yeah. ask you. I was going to ask you, like, man, is there anything that really motivates you? You're right. Them kids yeah, would kids. do it, man. And I'm going to tell you something. I know you feel like I feel. You're a father. <laughs> the kid ain't even got to say nothing. You could just look at your kid mm -hmm. and you'd be like, yo, I got to do this. And oh, I got to yeah. do this the right way. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Because, you know, I'm doing the podcast thing. You know, everybody's doing something different, right. man. And what I like to do, like, I like to just take time out, man. And, I, brother, I like to give you your flowers. You know, because I heard you that night, and then I've been following you too. And I was like, "Yo, I like this." Because see, I, I'm getting older now, y'all. You know, you, yeah, you. man. And um, you know, my my trap days is almost <laughs> over. You know, I, don't listen, I listen to it, but I like to sit down, hear the music, man. You know, like you say, he on the guitar, saxophone. You know, nice vocalist, man. And that's what it's all about, man. And he is definitely. One of the ones y'all need to listen to him, man. Oh, man I bless say. you, bless you, man. Bro, um, I got a few more things, man. I mm -hmm. want to talk to you about. Like, growing up, you say it was seven, y'all. Uh huh. Okay, now in that in that seven, I know it had to be seven different mindsets. Absolutely. Now, you got if I remember five and two. Yes, sir. Okay, so. I'm pretty sure it was one of those mothers that you stated, mm -hmm. <laughs> your sisters that told you, you know, that they encouraged you with everything. Because as I'm listening to you, you say you play this, you play that, you play this. I'm like, I, I ain't never met nobody that have done it all. Mm -hmm. Now, I have met some people like, yo, I fell in love with the saxophone, that's what I played. But listening to you, you tried every one of them. I tried, at least tried it. Yeah. I wasn't necessarily yeah. good at it. Yeah, I, I tried it. But <laughs> the guitar fell in, fell in your yeah. lap. Now, you're a musician. Is that and now do you have a name for this guitar? <laughs> oh, you don't want to get a name, do you? Yeah, just, every musician has a name. See, I'm gonna tell you something about, about I know about musicians. I got a couple of them. A couple homeboys, right? Uh-huh. They always give it a certain name. And it's like, okay, and I was talking to one of my homeboys, I ain't gonna put him on blast. Yeah. But he was like, man, I can't get Lucille that right. He's <laughs> like, man, you know Lucille. I said, bro, look here, man. I don't know no Lucille. I don't know what you're talking about. Then he explained to me yeah. what it was. You don't have to get a name, but just by looking at you, I know it's a name that you got. I'm, I'm working on. I got a new one, so I'm working. See what I'm saying? I'm working on a new name for her. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll let you know what her and name I, is. And I really wanted him to bring the guitar, y'all, because this brother right here can do his thing, man. Y'all just don't know, man. Now. Go on, let's go back a little bit. Okay. Growing up, like you say in D.C., you stayed there until you was nine, then you moved here. Now, when you moved here, where did you originally move to? Was it Greenville, Spumberg? It was Greenville. Greenville. I've been Greenville. in Greenville my entire, my, my entire, you know, from nine yeah. to now. How, how was the, the, the change? Um, the, the, I'm not going to say the culture because I, well, can I say the culture? No, because it's... it's I ain't saying? really know. Like, yeah. I was nine. So, yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, typical... Yeah. Typical. It was different. You know okay, what I'm saying? It go. was different. The, okay. You know, you know, just getting accustomed to gotcha. Uh, gotcha. the southern, the southern. That's why I was getting uh, that. Yeah. Uh, hospitality. Gotcha. Maybe that's gotcha. the word. Gotcha. Um, it was a little different at first. You know, mm -hmm. we didn't say yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. We didn't really say stuff yeah, like that. I got you. Um, <laughs> so, um, but my, you know, my aunt always raised us. Yeah. You know, we be always polite. Yeah, be exactly. polite yeah. and, and, and exactly. be and be, you know, act like we got some sense. You know exactly. how that exactly. You know how um, that go. <laughs> she go outside our heads. But, <laughs> yeah. uh, but no, nah, we, you know, it, it was like that. You know, she okay. always, she always tried to keep us on a straight and narrow. That's yeah. good, man. Now, did you play any sports, dude? Nah, that's the crazy oh, thing. Oh, man. wow, I, it was just that. I ain't, I ain't even, I, I, I played church league basketball. Okay, well, and hey, you still get your job for that. I did that, and then I, uh, I tried out in ninth grade <laughs> <laughs> on a, uh, on a, I tried out ninth grade for the basketball in, in high school. Okay. And I got cut. Okay. And I was like, bum, dad, I'm about to do band. <laughs> I was like, so you said I was like, man, me. I was like, it's yeah. all good. I love sports, bro. Yeah. Leave yeah. it to the brothers that, you know what I'm saying? Now, since it. you said that you yeah. love sports, you got to give me your top team. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to start with college football. Do you watch it? College football? No. Mm. No. No. What do you watch? I watch the NFL, New England. Okay. New England Patriots. Well, I be dog. I knew it had to be. A, if, look here. Let me, let me stop right here. <laughs> It's a reason this lady over here laughing, <laughs> and it's a reason. Y'all know me. Y'all know who my team is. I've been a Tom Brady fan since. Oh they man, I that's what I see. I, I can't knew make it was this friends. up. I, see, I knew I it was. Knew it. Thank you, bro. I knew it. Thank you, bro. I knew it. See, I, 
I ain't even gotta say no more, right? Okay, we good then. I do. All right, now let me let me see how close we really. You you, right. you say you play basketball. What's your basketball team? My my NBA team probably I'm gonna always be a Kobe fan. Okay, I Laker can't get fan. mad at him. I'm I a Laker get, fan. I can't get mad I'm, at I'm, Salute I'm, the Bing, man. Yeah, man. man. Rest in peace, Kobe, man. Yeah, man. That was but, that was but a yeah, tragic I, day. I'm Kobe fan. Okay. Kobe fan. I was just I was gonna see if you said Dallas Cowboy, and I hope <laughs> yeah. you didn't oh, say that. Like, no, oh no, no, because no. I've had a few people on here. Yeah, I'm talking about y'all. If y'all been <laughs> Dallas Cowboy fans. <laughs> That interview didn't go well. Wow. <laughs> but I'm messing with you, man. But, yeah, that's dope, bro. I mean, I'm, you know, New England. Shouts yeah. out to them. Kobe, rest in peace of Kobe, man. Real talk. Now, did you have anybody that inspired you, like, growing up? Like, role models, people you looked up to. Like, you say you talk about Kobe. But anybody with that drive that just, you was like, you know what? If I put in the work like they will, I'll be successful. Um, be man, honestly, mm -hmm. honestly, man, I, I think... <sighs> If I could just be candid, yeah. like growing, I think I didn't find that mm. until I was grown. Okay, that's I think, still cool. I think I think for me, mm -hmm. again, you know, like I stated earlier, I think mm. it was just life. Okay. It was like, okay. I know that sound like no, everybody no, got it, somebody, yeah. you know what I'm saying, but just like, like growing up, you know what I'm saying, mm. like, you know, I look up to... To, you know, different people now exactly. that I'm grown and exactly. I understand. Exactly. You know, exactly. but just just navigating through life, mm -hmm. I think it was the motivation not to be like certain certain circumstances I in my life, so I that when you. I see circumstances mm -hmm. uh, uh, manifested themselves mm -hmm. in ways that I was like, yeah, nah, yeah. I'll flip it. And I'm I like, yeah, you. I don't want to be like that. What's my you. other alternative? I got you. Um, but I would say, I would say nowadays, nowadays, yeah. nowadays, you know, one of my like ET Eric Thomas. Look at uh, this brother. Uh, he, he, I uh, listen to him all the time. Miles Monroe, yeah. Les Brown. Okay. Like all those cats. Um, yeah. yeah. Some man. of my guitar heroes, yes. Jonathan DeBose. Okay. Um, Carrie Too Smooth. Now we're talking. Chris now you're talking. Like, like Eric Gales, like it's so many I can name. You can keep going um, with it. You can keep going. Yeah, with it. it's I so many. You. It's so many. It's so many cats. I Johnny Fung. Like it's yeah, so many. Yeah. It's so many guitar heroes that I have. Hey man, um, it's, it's Terry funny. Young. Yeah, Terry Young Terry is one of my yeah. man, super dope guys. Super right, dope guys. You're right, you're right. Huge inspiration on on me. Okay. Um, right now as a, as a player, I, okay. I like. Kudos to him, man. Like, I, like, that, like that's like my guru. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, so, I'm not yeah. mad at you, bro. It's funny you say Eric Thomas, man, because I'm, I'm gonna give a shout out to my boy, um, my boy Tory from Myrtle Beach. Uh, I met him back in the day. Uh -huh. He put me on Eric Thomas. I was like, man, what is this? And I'm looking, listening. I think the very first speech I heard him do was, um, uh, bad as you want to breathe, you won't be successful. You know, you you gotta want it. You know, yep. and then from there, I just. And, and then what I did, I got a Pandora station, and I just typed in Eric Thomas. So I just listened to him constantly, bro, and it, it really inspired me. You know what I mean? That's why I was actually like, was it anybody outside? But I like your answer, though, because like you say, it's life. Yeah. Because like, when I sit back, because I learn from everybody. Right. When I'm listening to what you're saying, you're right. You can just, you don't really, no shot, no, no, no disrespect to nobody. You don't really need nobody to motivate you. If you just look at life sometimes, that's enough to it motivate you. It'll navigate you. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it, and if you got the right mindset yeah. to yeah. to like not want to be, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, what you're trying to be. And not Miles yeah. Monroe, Miles Monroe said this, mm -hmm. rest in peace of Miles Monroe. Mm -hmm. Um he said you can't be a successful influencer without a successful platform. Mm. So okay. that's a lot of the reason why I do what I do. Yeah. Because I want to create a successful platform mm -hmm. to influence others to do okay you know you don't got to compromise you yeah. can create your lane you go hard for yourself yeah. you know what i'm saying it's gonna be yeah. dark days but it is keep pushing you know what it I'm saying? is bro so, me, yeah. me and you we're, we're like i do i do motivational video i do them twice monday and friday so mm -hmm. i'm trying to get that off the ground and let me ask you something man uh i if if you're cool with it yeah and we're going we gonna to talk about this right here on the podcast. Me and a friend of mine is coming up with some things, you know, for motivation to help people out. Because there's a lot of people in the world going through a lot of oh, things. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's, you know, and then it's a lot of things they go through you don't even know about. Exactly. And that's why, you know, that's why we get on the friend thing where it's like, they always say check on your strong friend yeah. too. Because you never know, man. You know, and I, we're trying to start this thing up to where, you know, we help people. Mm -hmm. we, we motivate them. And if you like to, bro. 
I would like to have you back on one day. And Absolutely. We can, we can definitely chop Absolutely, it up. Absolutely, man. Give Absolutely. some people some good advice. You know Absolutely, what I mean? man. I'll, okay. I'll be honored. I'll be honored to, cool, to come in, you know, anything to, to help. Yeah, you know yeah what definitely, man. Anyone. Definitely, yeah. man. And that's something I keep telling people, man, that sometimes people need that extra push. Oh, you know, absolutely. and I, I try to, but I, I, I really feel like it's it's strength in numbers. You know absolutely. what I'm saying? So if you come on and we and it just it's like a domino effect. Yes. Everybody come on and just help everybody out, man. That'll be <clears throat> absolutely that'll be dope, yes, man. Sir. That'll yes, be sir. dope, bro. Yes, sir. But man, I um I, I really, you know, I, I talk about a lot of things on this podcast as I told you. And one thing I definitely wanna um talk to you about is like what's your favorite because I, I heard you play so many things. Mm -hmm. If it's one song that you love the most that you can play on your guitar, and, and if you want, you can have a singer, uh -huh. no matter what is it. I would probably say. Because there's one thing I know you, I know you say, I, I'm good at this. Yeah, no so <laughs> I, I ain't going to lie. My most favorite song to play, mm -hmm. I ain't going to lie. My me. most favorite song to play Period is probably let's stay together. Al Green. Ooh, that's probably what? like my. That's oh my probably God, like soul in it. That's <laughs> probably like yeah. I'll probably say sing, yeah. singer or no singer. Singer or no singer. I just think that that song. That's probably one of my favorite songs to play. Like, I got you. Now, yeah. now, now, is that something when you heard it? Did you be like, yo, I want to play this? It was more it. so when I felt it. Ah, uh, I like him. <laughs> it, it, it was more so when I felt it. Like yeah. it just, it just. When yeah. you when you lock in it, it just yeah. Yes, sir. Just, you right. When you lock in, it's just something about that groove, man. Yeah, man. That's just yeah, man. That, for me, that's probably like one of my favorite songs. Favorite song to play. If yeah. I had to, if I had to pick one, yeah. that would probably be like one of my favorite songs. And let me go here now. I know when you when you you know you do you perform you do you ask for like y'all got a request or something? Um, like that? Now, typically, I mean, a lot of times once we like. In it, yeah. most people start yelling out stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. So, I heard that one. That was that blew so, up. <laughs> so I mean, but but for the most part, yeah. for the most part, you know, you try to, you know, I try to, you know, you do it so much, you yeah. kind of get a feel for, yeah. you know, how how things are going. Yeah. But yeah, taking a request if it's if it ain't too outside the box. That's what I was asking. Like, like, has anybody ever requested something you just did not want to? Like, nah, yeah, man. it's just <laughs> folk, you go somewhere and they just be yelling out songs like I think I was at one thing, dude <laughs> Dude yelled out. I mean, shouts out to BB King, but he just yelled out some some song and I was just like Yeah, yeah I don't I was like, I mean I ain't saying I can't play yeah. it, but I, let me go learn it. Yeah, I yeah, gotta learn it. that one. Like, like man, just, come on, man. I was like, you know, <laughs> I was like, at least bring it to something, somewhere, exactly, something we know. Man, exactly. But, yeah, bring it up to date. <laughs> yeah, I was like, man. But I, for the most part, man, it's pretty, it's pretty smooth, man. Man, that's what's up, man. Yeah. I'm devil. Now you have anything your, your trick for the night, bro? Anything you gonna hit the crowd with? Oh, you ain't gotta tell them. You can just man. say I got one in my bag. I just say we got. We gonna see what we do. We gonna have yeah. a lot of crowd participation. Though. Okay, okay, that's um, what's up. A lot of crowd participation. Got an awesome band. Mm -hmm. uh, awesome group of guys that's going to. Um, now, what are you guys um, like? Sticking to your band. Mm -hmm. Where are they from originally? Are so yeah. my original guys are Charlotte. Okay, so uh, like original Charlotte, guys that, Charlotte. that been with me from since I started back oh, okay. in 2018. Okay, so I started this band right before. Mm -hmm. Right before COVID. Right before the COVID um, thing hit. That's what's up. And it turned out to be a blessing. COVID yeah. actually turned out to be a blessing. Mm, uh, I and I, you know, no, you know, no, yeah, no pun intended for people yeah. who, you know, it yeah, was a devastating it. Yeah, I time. I understand. But it, it, in the midst of the chaos, mm -hmm. um, coming out of it, mm -hmm. it was, it turned out to be a blessing for That's me good. because it, it allowed me to focus on some things and get some things done. Okay. Um, but those guys are from Charlotte, and then mm -hmm. I have, you know. Some guys here that I work with in okay. Greenville, you know, when yeah. you know when time permits, because yeah. all the guys play on professional levels, so they play, good, play with different people and do different things. That's good, man. Now, that, like, how is it working with a band versus working with yourself? Because when you're by yourself, <laughs> you're doing your thing. I mean, wait, like, how do y'all you know, get the feel? Because I always <laughs> wonder, like, yo, they on one accord. It's like, how do we get this? It's, <laughs> it's it's man. I tell people all the time, man. When you play with people, when you when you in that arena, yeah, it's like is people don't realize it's more spiritual than anything. Okay, you know what I'm, I'm saying. Listening. And you know, like the Bible says, there's no distance in the spirit. Right, so we all know each other. Okay, that's we good. connect spiritually like yeah. that. And yeah, just and just go just, from there. It's well, we call it gelling or mm -hmm. kinesthetic. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. It's just kind of gotcha. like 
It just work, it just works together, man. When you, you jail, you know what I'm saying. Some man. people don't jail. You exactly. have, yeah. Some people don't jail. You're right. You can You're like right. they can play. Yeah. They talented. They gifted. Yeah. But they they you don't match. You can hear it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And it goes from the scene. So it's like it's yeah. very man. People don't realize that it's a very spiritual thing when we up there. And I understand, doing what we man. Do. When I heard um, y'all that night, I was like, yo, that is because I. Yeah. No disrespect to some bands. I heard some bands and it's just not like this night. They, they sound good. Yeah. They playing, but it ain't yeah. just. It's that. It's you right. It's something that's that's missing. It is. You know but what I'm saying? Charles, so, man, I was just like, yo, this. They hitting every note. I mean, it ain't. A, and I knew everything y'all was playing, man. I'm like, yo, this. <laughs> yeah, we got we got to do something. Yeah, man. Man. we got to make it. Man, happen, it was. Man. It's crazy, man. It's a, it's a, it's tough. It's tough sometimes, man. It's tough, especially being a leader. Yeah. Um, you got to deal with different personalities. Yeah. You got to deal with different people's schedules. Yeah. Um, yeah. But who much is given, much is required. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so exactly. So it ain't nothing that I can't handle. It's just a little. I know, like that, bro. I, I I told my homeboy yesterday. I said, "What's a soldier with no stripes?" Ooh, boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, you're right. You're right. So you know what I'm saying? You got to have. You, you gotta been have, through it. Yeah. Yeah. You got to. You got to have the stripes. You know what I'm saying? You got to be able to take it. So you know, I tell people, man. You know, and, and I've we all have. Yeah. This is one thing I used to hear people say. I've been through this. I've been, wait a minute. We all have been through things. Right. You know, it may not be the same thing you've been right. through, but we all have. And I, it's funny. I was talking to one of my homeboys the other day, and you know, I've been going through some things. You know, physical, you know, mental, emotional, you know, just different things. He said, "Bro, how do you do?" I said, "I'm built for it." And I wasn't trying to be cocky, but I went through it. Now, this is something I want to um, touch base on with me and you. If you allow me to. Oh, absolutely. You know, me and you was talking on camera and um, say you lost your mom and I lost mine too. This is the way I look at it, Dan. I lost my mom, my best friend, right? It's nothing that now things are going to hurt, but it's nothing I can't get through if I got through that. Right. You know, that's the way I carry it because right. this was my best friend. You, you told me you lost your mom at an early age, you know, and like I say, no matter when you lose your mother, that's your mother, you right. know, and I told him, I said, bro, I had to bury my best friend, which was my mother, right. my homie, my everything. Right, right. It's nothing I can't get through. Right. You know, God going to test you millions of times as you live in this lifetime. You live long enough, long, long enough, you're going to see it. Right. But you got to understand to get through those storms, to get over those hurdles, man, you got to put your trust in him. So Absolutely. what you may wake up in the morning and you know this this bill is due with this bill okay like one of one of my favorite little rapper new rappers the baby say you know head up chest out we're gonna get through yeah. it and you can't stress about things and like you like I was listening something you say still stick out to me when I asked you your motivation you said life and that's life you mm -hmm. know life hits you like a ton of bricks sometimes man but that should make you want to go even harder. You know, and I, I really like that answer you gave, bro. I keep going back to that because that's something I'm about to start using. I'm letting you know. You, got you it, said bro. it first, but I'm going to start using <laughs> you it. You got man. it, bro. You and got it. Is there anything you can give the people that's watching this? Because that's going to go to YouTube mm -hmm. later. It's going everywhere. Any kind of motivation that we talked about, you can give them. Man, I have. Man. You, I, I, know you got a, I know you got some gems. Give man, them a go. I mean, the, the best thing to do, man, mm -hmm. I, I've said this, mm -hmm. um, and it kind of it kind of stuck with me. Um, never dim your light. Okay. Mm. Um, now I'm listening to you now because because you never know who you got. Mm. So always always shine your light bright because mm. you never know who watching. Mm. And uh, I like and that. if you if you stick with that, mm. always put your best foot forward. Yes, sir. And then and you know just. If we were all, and I always, I, I just got sands for days, man. It's I just, mean, bro, <laughs> give, drop, drop me one more. Give me um, one more. Um, being different, I tell the kids when I, I was doing okay. uh, autism. Okay. I did, I did autism week. I, okay. I, I've doing that the last couple of years at, at uh, elementary schools. Okay. I was doing um, right before COVID hit. Right before I COVID, did. I, I was doing it every year, and then COVID hit, and then mm -hmm. we did it Zoom, mm -hmm. and then I did it one more year after that, and I guess they kind of, you know. You know, COVID changed some stuff. I understand. Um, but when I used to go and visit the kids with autism, mm -hmm. and I used to go and play for them, yeah. and different things like yeah. that at the at the elementary schools. Mm -hmm. um, and I would, I would, it was there was this one little girl, mm -hmm. and she was, uh, she was in a wheelchair. Okay. She was she was wheelchair bound. Mm -hmm. So we was playing the music, but in that moment, mm -hmm. in the music, you couldn't tell. She she completely forgot that she was in a wheelchair. Yeah, that's what's and up, man. it it hit me like a ton of it, like it I ain't no emotional dude. It did something, but to you. it was like, 
Man, like yeah. she, I mean, she was getting down. I mean, you couldn't, I mean, she was getting down. I mean, everybody else running and screaming, yeah. but you couldn't, you couldn't tell down. that she yeah. wasn't, that she was wheelchair bound. Yeah. And one thing that stuck out to me is being different is not a curse. It's not. It's only a curse if we were all the same. Ooh. Being different is not a curse. It's only a curse if we were all, all the same. All the same. Y'all heard that. That's a gem being dropped on it. I like that. So y'all remember that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, And don't be scared to be different. Don't be scared. Yeah, I mean, because then what you just said, nobody's the same, you know. And I, you know, and I, I'm gonna tell you what's funny. My wife will tell you. I be messing with my son sometimes. Mm -hmm. I said, man, you just different. No, no. I said, it's not bad about that. I said, kid, live in your own life. I said, you, if you want to be different, I said, I dare you to be different. Matter of fact, I want you to be. I different. encourage you to be. Different. I don't want you to do everything else somebody doing. Be different. Be the leader you are. You know, stand up. You know. That goes a long way, bro. With not just kids, with us too. It's, it's you know, in general. But that yeah. that don't dim your light, cause somebody may be watching. That's you right mm -hmm. about that, man. Yeah, man. Cause I'm gonna be honest, man. I've learned some things from you just a little time. Oh man, we talk, likewise, bro. man. And likewise. And that's that's dope, bro. That's dope. Likewise, man. man. Likewise, man. Y'all, it, it's it's crazy. It's crazy, man. We yeah. just gotta we gotta stay stay motivated. Right. And, right. And and, and I, I live by these three things, man. Okay. These three things that uh. That that helped me. I'm listening. And, um, and it, it just it, the over the past year, I kind of been living by it, and it's, okay. it almost like lifted. Mm -hmm. It completely changed my perspective of life, okay. parenting, mm -hmm. music, everything, relationships, mm -hmm. whatever. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Is you uh, you assess a situation, okay? You evaluate it, evaluate it. You execute, execute. That's it. Assess, evaluate, assess, execute. evaluate. Execute. I like that. That's it. I like that. That's it. You're right. You're right. You look at the situation. Yeah. You look You're right. at the situation. You see what works. Mm -hmm. What didn't work. You're right. You evaluate it. You come up with a plan. Yeah. Of how to continue doing it mm -hmm. or not. You're and right. Once you come up with that, you execute it. You're right. And That's then it. I think the biggest part about that is don't look back. You you keep like you say keep moving forward, <laughs> keep man. Moving and That's forward. what we gotta do in That's life, it. man. Because you can't you can't sit there and dwell alone. The past, absolutely, because you stay stuck in it, absolutely. and once you stay stuck in it, you don't get nowhere. Get so nowhere. that way, you yeah. gotta keep moving, yeah, bro. Man. That's yeah, a, I like that, bro. That's a cool thing about music, man. That's yeah. one thing about I love to do it because what you put in is what's gonna come out. Mm -hmm. And music is the only thing that doesn't need permission to enter you. Mm, you're right about that. You're music, right about music that. can get in places where it's can't. Yeah. So I'm grateful and thankful to God mm -hmm. for the for the gifting to be able to. Yeah. And bro, that that weight. Yeah. be able to carry that gifting mm -hmm. to help other people and bro i Sorry. i'm 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 glad to have had you on here today yes, and man i'm gonna it's say this pleasure. too man um blessings to you bro because with you being a musician you just don't know music has you know i, I could put on certain things and it's take my mind you know to Absolutely. places that i need to be and Absolutely. not why i, I should have why i left you know what i mean exactly and man i'm gonna be honest with you man you are definitely one of those guys, man. Once I heard you with the guitar, then I got to sit down and chop it up with you today. I tell the world, this is dope brother right here, man. Y'all need you. to pay attention. Bless you. I want y'all to follow him. Before we got here, I'm going to let him tell y'all where he can, y'all can find him and all that good stuff. Let me let him know, bro. Y'all make sure y'all follow on all social media outlets. That's V-T-H-E, Darren, okay. D-A-R-R-I-N, Jackson, all right. like Michael, <laughs> Encounter. <laughs> Everybody know how to spell encounter. Yeah, I hope they do. E N C O U N T E R. Okay. That's on all social media outlets. You guys can follow. Um, you can check out the website at www.thedarrenjacksonencounter.com okay. okay. for booking inquiries for anything to mm -hmm. kind of keep up with scheduling um, with anything like that. And just okay. if you guys want to pop in, just see what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, and anyway, shout out to. One Nation podcast. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For, uh, here, for having for having me on today. Yes, sir, man. It was a pleasure, bro. Yes, sir. You know, and man, we gonna wrap it up with that, Darren. Man, it was I'm dope, like, bro. It was thank dope. you, man. This is the One Nation podcast eight six four, and we signing off. Peace.